I've always been interested in new and revolutionary methods of producing renewable energy. So when I heard that a world first in tidal power was coming to a city in South Wales, I was so excited. And this is why you too should be excited about the new tidal lagoon in Swansea Bay. Swansea will always be a special place to me. It's where I went to university and I have so many great memories there. And now Swansea is about to undergo a huge engineering project and create the world's first power generating tidal lagoon. What is a tidal lagoon you ask? It's basically a huge sea wall enclosing an area of tidal water with turbines built into this wall so that as the tide comes in and out, it turns the turbines, creating electricity, which I will now explain with the help of a handy diagram. Starting at low tide, the turbine gates are closed and the turbines are not moving. As the tide comes in, the water level on the outside of the lagoon rises. This then causes a difference in water level on either side of the wall. When this difference is great enough, the gates are opened, allowing water to flow through from outside into the lagoon. This turns the turbines. As the tide fully comes in to high tide, the gate is then closed again, maintaining a high level of water on the inside of the lagoon. After enough of a drop again as the tide begins to go out, the gates are reopened and the water begins to flow back out of the lagoon into the sea. When low tide has been reached, the gate again closes, sealing off the lagoon. This whole process repeats twice a day, giving four periods of power generation for a total of 14 hours a day. I think this is so exciting, not just because Wales is getting to lead the world in a new technology, but because tidal power is such an untapped resource here in the UK. In the Bristol Channel, we have the second largest tidal range in the world of 9.6 metres, that's second only to an area in Canada. There are a few tidal turbines scattered around the coastline. They're sort of like wind turbines, but under the water. These on their own can't produce a substantial amount of power. This tidal lagoon project is expected to produce enough electricity for 155,000 homes. That's 90% of the domestic demand for the Swansea Bay area. That's huge, and it's expected to last for 120 years. This is a lot of electricity we're talking about. And it's not just about the electricity. There's going to be a water sports centre on the lagoon, a footpath and cycle path running along the wall, and conservation programmes for both animal and plant life. It's currently at the final planning stages, and aside from a slight hiccup to do with sourcing stone to build the wall, it looks like everything is all set for construction to begin later on this year. Plans have already been submitted to build five more of these lagoons around the country. These have been proposed for Cardiff, Newport, Colwyn Bay, Bridgewater and Cumbria. And these will be much cheaper to build than this first one because it's so experimental. Wouldn't it be amazing if in 20 years time the UK's coastline was dotted with these power plants? If you want any more information about the Tidal Lagoon project, I've put a link to their website down below in the description. My name is Jules Zender, and this has been Zender Science.